Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can set up other charge items within the item list. Another charge item could be used to collect amounts for things such as freight charges or photocopying charges in the sales form. You could also use it to collect membership dues or assess some other type of miscellaneous fee within a sales form. You create other charge items by first opening the item list. To create a new other charge item, click the item button in the lower left corner of the list window and then select the new command. In the new item window, select other charge from the type dropdown. Enter a name for the charge into the item name slash number box. If you want this charge to be a sub-item of another charge, check the sub-item of checkbox and then select the main charge item under which the current item should be categorized from the adjacent drop-down menu. Enter a description of the charge to display within invoices and sales receipts into the description field. Enter the amount or percentage for the other charge item into the amount or percent field. Then enter the tax code and assign the amount of the charge to an income account by using the account dropdown. For reimbursable charges, you can check the This item is used in assemblies or is a reimbursable charge checkbox to change the fields available. If checked, this changes the fields to resemble the ones used when creating inventory part items. If you do this, enter the information for the purchasing side of the charge into the fields shown in the Purchase Information section. Then enter the information used for the sales aspect of the charge into the Sales Information group of fields. Doing this allows you to use the charge in both purchase and sales transactions if necessary. After you have created the other charge item, Click the OK button to save the item into your item list. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.